what is going on family it is your boy Nye, and i'm back again with another video it is probably that time for some of you for some of you it's not it's application time everyone's trying to get to uni or trying to get into uni and i know it can be a huge stress um i was there before fortunately i'm not in my second year so you know way behind me but i just want to give you know some tips some advice a full story about my application process to you guys to anyone who is going through the same thing wants to know what it's really like so i'm just going to talk about literally everything from the start from my grades to voluntary work um work experience my interview and my personal statement the whole shebang exactly what i did how my application went and the offers i got so without further ado let's get straight into the video big disclaimer before i get into the video um most of the stuff i'm going to be talking about is directly related to medical students but if you're not a medical student do not despair or click out the video um there's some stuff here that's going to be valuable to you as well so you might want to stick around for that okay so the first thing i want to speak about is grades right so as far as important things go on your application, grades are like the one thing that you really can't get around. Um, I mean, you can find ways to, you know, make up for not so good grades, but you want to make sure your grades are right up there because that's where the competition starts, right? All the applications are going to have good grades as like a threshold, as like a starting point. So you want to have your application, you know, taking that box right at the top. So let's talk about my grades. Um, I did the Cambridge A-levels um, for my sixth uh, form I guess um, which is my last two years of secondary school and then after that um, I did the UCAT exam um, for other medical schools they prefer the BMAT um, so some people end up doing the BMAT and the UCAT just depending on which university you want to apply to so you want to check for that um, what I'm going to say is um, for my A levels I managed to get an A star and two A's for math biology and chemistry um, I worked really hard for that throughout my a-levels um and i think a baseline for what i think you should be aiming for for medical students is about three a's at the very least um if you are doing a-levels um i'm not sure what the thresholds are for the ib um exams um or like the grades are g because i the ib is a gpa so i'm gonna put the gpa right here that you should be aiming for for your ib if you're doing ib and make sure you just get those grades um they will just literally tick a box for you that is going to be so essential the second um sort of like grade i got was my ucat exam and i did not do very well for my ucat my score was in the 500s um which is if you know about the UCAT, it's not a very good score, but this is simply because I didn't focus on the UCAT much. I only started studying for, for it, um, I think, a month before the actual exam. I didn't know how relevant it was or how hard it was. So my big tip is if you are getting into or trying to apply to a university that focuses on UCAT, you need to start studying and preparing for that as soon as you can. Now, how to prepare for these exams a levels ib ucat bmat i said i'm not even going to give you the tips myself i'm just throughout this video i'm just going to be giving you um sort of like the tips or like the people um to refer to when you're trying to you know prepare for these things the youtubers that i watch still to today um who helped me since a levels ucat and everything are karma medic and ali abdal i mean these are probably my two most you know um my two favorite um youtubers at the moment they're both um all like one's now a junior doctor the other's still a medical student um in the uk obviously um i'll put their channels right here ali abdal and karma medic these guys are going to be invaluable in your entry into medical school i think they've helped a lot of people get into medical school um obviously it's not proven but i know for a fact that the value they put around in their videos um is you know immense so watch those guys those guys will help you through these exams and um yeah the second thing i'm going to talk about that was crucial to my application was my voluntary work and my work experience so i didn't really have work experience when i was applying but i knew that i needed voluntary work so i got that done um way earlier on so you want to start i think when you're around 16 17 you want to start getting involved in the medical field it doesn't have to be like you know directly shadowing a doctor or something but just get like you know an internship even a job at a doctor's office desk or something like that you know what i mean like um try to do it um for free don't try and get paid for that because 
you know that's just going to give the wrong impression but yeah you need to get involved get stuck in that sort of like field um as early as possible so that when you're applying you have a lot to talk about and you know what you're talking about and you kind of like um have a certified um view or opinion of what you think you're getting into right you want to have like a legit um you know kind of like background or you know when you're saying oh i want to be a doctor because i think it's a good occupation you need to have seen that happen so that's the best way to get into it um when you're getting closer to you know exams the final year you want to start shadowing a doctor working in a hospital specifically or with a doctor um because that's going to open your eyes um to what the profession really is and you can really you know say and you know give opinions or reasons why you think you'd be best suited for that in the best way possible um so yeah definitely get into voluntary work i shadowed a surgeon i worked in a pro i worked for or with uh, um an organization that was doing a pro bono program um which was helping out um you know the underprivileged um in a hospital so i did that i shadowed a doctor so i had lots to talk about i saw a lot i learned a lot and you know um i had a lot to reflect on when i was writing my personal statement and applying which is the third thing i'm going to speak about is your personal statement um the personal statement is one of the hardest things or like seems like one of the hardest things to write because it's you know it's where you get to kind of do your own thing there's no prerequisite or guide um for what you should write in your personal statement i mean some unis will specify what they want you to focus on but at the end of the day since you're sending this you know application to four or five unis the personal statement is you know free for all you do what you really want in there but obviously don't you know lose don't lose um the focus i think with a personal statement you get to separate yourself from everyone else um because let's say you're applying alongside someone who has the exact same grades probably highly similar ucat or bmat scores what's going to separate you is the personal statement obviously like the voluntary work and stuff also counts but this is where you kind of tell the uni tell the person who's reading your application why you are better suited for the uni for the degree you're trying to apply to it will separate you from the rest either in a good or bad way so you're trying to do that in a good way when it comes to medical school personal statements specifically one thing i suggest you focus on is reflecting on what you're writing right or what you're writing about so reflecting is kind of like looking back at experiences and kind of saying what went wrong what was good what did i learn what could be improved upon that kind of thing because even when you get to medical school they're going to spam you with being a reflective um, student or practitioner in the future so you want to start you know showing that you're aware of this so you know talk about like an experience you went through or like maybe your shadowing um or your work experience and say um when i worked here i learned this this went well this went wrong this is what i think should be improved upon this could have gone better you know that type of thing reflect in that personal statement that will just you know spice it up brighten it up and you know hopefully get you over that edge the last thing i want to mention is the interview so every medical school has different interviews um you get offered an interview when you know the rest of the application has gone through and they're pleased with what you've given them and they want to give you a chance to you know meet face to face or over the phone nowadays and you know interview you on like you know there's different types of interviews there's panel interviews where you've got like three people um interviewing you for like 30 minutes to an hour and then there's multiple mini interviews which i did for you clan um, which is you know different stations for the interviews you can look into this after the video there's loads of content on that i'm not going to go into too much detail but when you do get offered an interview which of which you might not get that many like i got two offers for interviews um when i applied out of the five universities i applied to so obviously you can see the scarcity um but this is like you know a big big chance you don't want to blow an interview because this is when you're given the chance that a lot of people haven't been given for example let's say a thousand people apply to medical school oxford for example they'll probably only give out like four to five hundred interviews so that's half the people cut out immediately after the application so you've got you know you've beat half the people who applied already so now you need to get into your bag and focus the interviews are very very important start preparing well in advance as soon as you're told you have an interview literally on that day youtube 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 spam it even till this day when i don't understand something in my course i go straight to youtube first and then i do probably um you know 
look in a book or something after like all the answers are there there's a lot of good youtubers that are giving till this day and making great content valuable content informative content that you will need for your application everything from you know the two i mentioned earlier on ali abdal karma medic um even there's this guy called anas nur ali um i don't know if i said his name correctly um if he does bump into this video super gassed i'm sorry anas but um yeah this guy is making good content as well check his content out you'll find something valuable um at least one video valuable with these guys and they will really push you over the edge they cover everything i mean obviously they're not the only ones you can have some that you already watch stick to those learn as much as you can and your application will be good enough or great or even super um i don't know so that's been my application process i don't want to make this video too long i just wanted to talk about how i did it what i went through um obviously i didn't talk too much about the interview i did my multiple mini interviews um in the uk they went really well um i was well prepared for it because i spammed youtube so um you guys have all the keys now there's no excuses um if you are applying good luck if you're waiting for application um results or you know um no no notices um best wishes with those if you already got your application um you know sort of like results um and you're in medical school then congratulations to you um glad you can join the clan hopefully we can grow together and, and become super doctors in the future if your applications were all denied you can apply again you know where you you should probably find out where you went wrong with it do it again don't give up um and don't stress finesse stay moving stay booming if you're new to this channel consider subscribing um if you are liking the content that you've seen make sure you guys like the video subscribe it's been nice stay moving stay booming mm -hmm.